SM. I'm your host, Nolan Bello. And I'm McKenna Bradley. Welcome to the very first episode of Eagle TV 2.0 for the 2020-2021 school year here at Santa Margarita. We have tons of exciting things today, from a news update to a recap on last night's XLT, a special weather report with Matthew, and tons more. Yes, we have so much exciting content for today. Nolan, are you excited? I am so excited. The last time I was in here was March 13th for my final entertainment update, and that has been nearly six months since our last show. McKenna, what have you been up to since then? You know, I had a pretty great summer. I went to the beach a lot. I ran a lot. I just love staying active. How about you? I was out with friends at the beach, and sometimes when I drive to my friend's house, we'd like open up the trunk of our cars and just visit with each other. And clearly a lot has happened to all of us since then. To find out the latest news updates, let's check in with Miranda. Hello, everyone. I'm Miranda Riley, and this is Noteworthy News, where we share both important school and global news. Our first story today covers the very unfortunate death of Chadwick Bosman. He passed away amongst friends and family on August 28, 2020, after battling with colon cancer for four years. Bosman was in many well-known films, playing iconic roles such as Black Panther, James Brown, Sir Good Marshall, and Jackie Robinson. He touched many lives, and we must keep his family in our prayers as they work through these tough times. Now in school news, our head coach, Coach Tim Walsh, unfortunately resigned from his position, citing medical concerns. Anthony Ruser has been appointed interim head coach of the SM football program. He has previously coached our Eagles as the varsity linebacker coach and defensive coordinator. He has also coached with teams such as the German football team, Hamburg Huskies, as well as UMass Amherst and Winston-Salem State University. We will miss Coach Walsh, but we are excited to see what Coach Bruiser has in store for our boys. Moving on, we are so very excited to announce the launch of our new wellness program, as well as wellness director Joy Cleary and wellness coordinator Beth Chapman. The wellness program will help provide additional mental health education and support for our students. Wow, I don't know about you, Nolan, but it sounds like there are so many interesting things happening this year. I couldn't agree more. Speaking of school events, I heard you were at XLT last night. Yes, it was so much fun. I definitely miss the amazing campus ministry events. Let's go check it out. Hi, my name is Owen Bradley and today I'm with Mr. Visconti. Now, Mr. Visconti, wh what is XLT? So XLT is an evening of prayer, uh, worship, and adoration. So you get to come in, gather together, everybody gets to hear a message. Um, they get to experience worship through Mr. C and the rest of the band. Uh, and then they get to participate in adoration, which is just time spent in front of the Eucharist. Why should SM students attend XLT? This is an excellent question. First off, it's a great opportunity to get back on campus, uh, to kind of get around campus, to walk through campus, to spend time with other people on campus. So I would recommend that you just get a couple of friends to come with you. Uh, but then it's a great evening, an opportunity to kind of like de-stress, to relax, to take a deep breath of kind of everything else that we've been going on, reconnect with friends, reconnect with God, uh, spend some time singing, praying, uh, socializing. So it's a great opportunity just to get out of the house too. Hey McKenna, I have a question for you. Since we have a stellar varsity tennis player, Amelia Tungate, with us today, the theme is tennis. Okay, I don't know how sharp my trivia skills are. What is the left side of the tennis court called? I honestly have no clue. <laughs> I don't know either, so let's ask Amelia to find out the answer and learn more about this upcoming tennis season. Hi Santa Margarita, my name is Amelia Tungate and I'm a junior here and a member of the SM tennis team. I'm here to give you an update on girls and boys tennis. First off, the answer is ad court. The JV and varsity girls tennis tryouts will be from November 9th to November 20th after school, with exact times to be announced. The JV and varsity boys tennis tryouts are from November 30th to December 11th after school, also with exact times to be announced. For details and all the latest information, check out the athletics department section on the SM website. And if you want to see some of the real pros in action, check out the U.S. Open, which is happening right now. I'm so excited to see sports coming back to SM. Go Eagles! Amelia, that sounds so exciting. What are you most looking forward to this season? I'm just really looking forward to getting back on the court with all my amazing teammates. It's so fun to see things coming back. Well, best of luck to you and all the girls on the tennis team as you start practicing for the season. 
Nolan, have you played tennis before? You know, I haven't, but I always pass the Monarch Beach like tennis practices when I'm on my way to my house. It always seems like something fun to do. Yeah, it sounds so much fun. Nolan, are you a little hot in here? You know, I have, and it's been like in the hundreds like every day the past couple weeks. You know, if I'm wondering if it's gonna be the same hotness like the rest of the week. That's a great question. Let's turn it over to our favorite weatherman, Matthew L. Niski, to see what's up. Matthew, take it away. Good morning, SM. I'm your dedicated personality to tell you that California weather is gonna be moderate. Wow, doesn't it just feel great to say that again? And so we're back. The prodigal son has returned once again to tell you things you already knew. Let's get started. Now, today is going to be fairly temperate, and I say cherish it while you can. The temperatures are going to be ramping up Thursday and Friday, and it's, really, and it's going to really hit its peak over the weekend with a 104 on Saturday and a 107 on Sunday. Now, after that sudden spike, it's going to start to cool down over the rest of next week, going back into the 90s. Now, my only advice to you is to make sure that you drink a lot of water. I can guarantee you're going to need it. Now, in other news, Hurricane Laura made landfall in Louisiana last Thursday. When it touched down, it started with winds getting up to nearly 150 miles an hour. Western Louisiana and the eastern tip of Texas saw winds ranging from 100 to 135 miles per hour. Floods were incredibly common wherever Hurricane Laura went, and Cameron Parish saw the worst of it. At its highest, their surge flooding topped out at just about 13 feet. As it stands, 16 people have lost their lives to this natural disaster. We can all pray that relief will come to those affected by Hurricane Laura, whether directly or indirectly. I'm Matthew Linsky. This has been your weekly weather. Back to those in the studio. You know, Hurricane Laura was so tragic. I was in Louisiana just last month, and to think a hurricane just struck this area is insane. And especially because my family and I have a vacation house in the middle of the state, and our house got affected. Water came in, and a piece of our siding came off. But, you know, Louisiana always rebuilds. I'm so sorry, Nolan. Hopefully they can rebuild. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that wraps up our first show of Eagle TV 2.0. I'm McKenna Bradley. And I'm Nolan Bello. Have a great Tuesday, Santa Margarita.